the bell icon to turn on notifications. So now we're a bit more familiar with the general overall layout of Excel. It's time to switch our attention to the Quick Access Toolbar. And again, this is something I briefly mentioned at the start of this course when we were exploring the Excel interface. Now for me, my quick access toolbar is right at the top here in the left hand corner. And it's this tiny little toolbar that has a few little icons on it. So where you can see the save command, we also have undo and redo. This is basically my quick access toolbar. And currently I don't have a great deal on there apart from the default commands that display when you enable the quick access toolbar. So what exactly is this? Well, the quick access toolbar or QAT as it's known for short is where we can add commands that we use frequently. So instead of having to go through and hunt through different ribbons for commonly used commands, we can simply add them to this quick access toolbar, which makes them super easy to access. Now, before we start doing that, let me show you how you can change the position of the quick access toolbar because currently mine is kind of shoved up in that top left hand corner. And when I leave mine up there, I tend to forget that it's even there and I very rarely use it. So I prefer to have mine displaying underneath my ribbons. So how do we change the position of the QAT? Well, if we hover our mouse over this little drop down arrow, notice that the screen tip says customize quick access toolbar. And when I click it, it's going to open up a menu of different items. And right at the bottom of this menu, we have an option to show below ribbon. And that's going to move this to underneath your ribbons. Now notice that the save icon is still showing up in this title bar. So this save icon isn't actually part of that quick access toolbar. You're going to find that this is just part of Excel's title bar. So the only commands that I currently have on my quick access toolbar are undo and redo. Now, if I click this drop down arrow again, you can see that I have a few different commands in this menu that I can add on to my quick access toolbar with one click. And these are really the 15 or so commands that Microsoft have deemed are going to be useful to you. So if I want to add any of these that I can see in this list to my QAT, I simply need to just select them and it's going to add that command. Let's also add spelling in here as well. Now, if I want to add save to the quick access toolbar, maybe I forget that it's up here in the top left hand corner, I can add another save icon to the QAT as well. Now, if you're looking at your Excel and you're thinking, well, I don't actually see anything that resembles this quick access toolbar, it might be that you don't have it turned on. And this is one of the things that's very different from older versions of Excel. In the last version of Excel 365 that I used and in versions before that, the quick access toolbar was turned on by default and there was no way for us to control if we have it toggled on or if we have it toggled off. But now in Excel 2021, we do have that option. So let me just show you that. Let's jump up to file. And again, we're jumping back into our Excel options. Now notice in this list, we have a whole page dedicated to customizing the quick access toolbar. And we're going to come back into here in a moment and start adding commands this way. But I want to draw your attention first of all to this bottom section. Notice I have show quick access toolbar selected. If I deselect this box and click on OK, it's going to get rid of that quick access toolbar altogether. So if you find that you never use it and it's just taking up additional room, you can definitely turn it off. Now, I quite like having my quick access toolbar turned on. So let's jump back into there and put a tick in this box. Another thing we can do is also display labels for the items on our quick access toolbar. So if I select this checkbox as well and click on OK, now look at my quick access toolbar. Instead of just the icons, I have the actual labels. So it's a lot easier for me to determine what each of these does. I can see undo clearly, redo clearly, email, so on and so forth. 
So now that we've established how to activate the quick access toolbar and how we can very simply add any of the commands from this customized quick access toolbar menu, let's take a look at some other customizations we can make. Now, obviously, in this right click menu, we're not seeing all of the commands available in Excel. So what if I want to add a completely different command onto my quick access toolbar? Maybe I'm always using conditional formatting. Well, this is very simple. What you can do is right click on any command on any ribbon. And the first option that you're going to have in that contextual menu is add to quick access toolbar. Notice as soon as I do that, it appears with its label. Now, I mentioned in an earlier lesson that not all commands available in Excel have an icon on the ribbons. There are some commands that purely exist in the background, and they're usually commands that you don't tend to use all that often. So what about if I want to add one of those to my quick access toolbar? Well, this is where we can jump back into Excel options. So let's go to File, Into, Options, and we're going to go straight to Quick Access Toolbar. Now, over on the right hand side, this is where you can see the current Quick Access Toolbar. And you can see the icons that I have showing undo, redo, email spelling, save and conditional formatting, which is the one I just added. And on the left hand side, currently I'm showing all of the popular commands in Excel. If I wanted to see the full list, every single command available in Excel, I can choose all commands from this first menu. And now I have every single command in Excel available listed out in alphabetical order. So I can now go through and I can choose any of these that I want to add. So let's say I want to add add shape after. Click the add button in the middle and that's going to put that onto the quick access toolbar. And I can carry on going through adding different buttons to my quick access toolbar, like so. And of course, if I want to remove them, I can do exactly the same thing. So I'm actually going to remove these separators. And I'll explain to you what separators are in a moment. Let's select the first one, click remove, select the second one, click remove. So now that I have all of my quick access toolbar commands showing, I can reorganize these using the arrows on the right hand side. So maybe I want to move save so it's the first icon on my quick access toolbar. I just need to select it and use my arrow keys to move it up. So don't be afraid to reorganize your commands on your QAT. Now, we just deleted out a couple of separators there, so let me explain to you what separators are. Separators will effectively separate your commands on your quick access toolbar into groups that you specify. And all it really is, is a tiny little line. It's, it's actually barely visible, but it just does give a little bit of structure to the quick access toolbar, as opposed to just having a horizontal list of commands. So at the top of any list you select, whether it's all commands or popular commands, you're going to see separator and you can add in as many separators as you like. So I'm going to add three into here and then I can move these into the correct position. So maybe I want to separate save from everything else. Maybe I want to separate undo and redo from the rest of my commands. And then finally, let's just move this one up to, let's put that just there. Once you're happy with how you have your QAT organized, if we click on OK, it's going to update with those changes. And I don't know if you can just see very faint line in between these, that is the separator. So I definitely recommend that once you've been using Excel for a while, you're going to get an idea of the kinds of commands that you use all the time. And once you do know that, start adding them to your quick access toolbar to make them super easy to access so you're not digging around the different ribbons looking for your commands. It's also worth noting that if you want to remove commands that you've already added to the quick access toolbar, you don't have to keep going into Excel options. You can simply right click on the command and then in the contextual menu, you have a remove from quick access toolbar option. So I'm actually going to remove the three that I just added. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.